I think unpaid care work has very, very strong links to um, economic empowerment for women and girls because it can be a major, major barrier to them being able to, um, first of all, when they're girls, to be able to achieve in school, either because they're withdrawn from school to help in the home or more frequently because they're unable to dedicate the same amount of time as, of time as boys to their schoolwork and to extracurricular activities because of work they have to do in the home. And then as they grow up, it becomes a real barrier for women entering the labour market at all. And even when they do enter the labour market, often they have to take jobs in, in, in formal labour where they don't get adequate social protection, they don't get equal wages and they don't get decent wages. I hope that this report will make human rights advocates and human rights actors look at unpaid care work as a human rights issue because so far, although there's been a lot of excellent work on unpaid care work from a number of fields, um, from feminist economists in particular, social policy experts and in increasingly from development actors, it's had very, very little attention from human rights advocates and I really hope that this report in laying out a framework for how unpaid care is a human rights issue, I really hope that it will get on the agenda of human rights organisations and human rights monitoring bodies. One of the main messages we tried to get across in this report is that the state has a very strong role to play in terms of the distribution and the intensity of unpaid care work. That just because it takes place in the home um, and is, seems to be a private matter for households and families and communities, that actually the actions or lack of actions of the state play a huge role in determining the amount of unpaid care work that women have to undertake, its intensity, its drudgery, and also how it's shared between women and men. For example, one of the key things that we identify in the report as determining, especially for women living in poverty, the amount and the intensity of care work they have to undertake are public services. And many women, women living in poverty, especially in developing countries, have very little access to decent public services or gender sensitive public services and this really increases uh, the amount of unpaid care work that they have to undertake and therefore this is one of the major actions that the report identifies that the state can take is improving public services, especially care services, child care services, elder care services, health services but also things like infrastructure, um, roads, public transport, water for example um, in relieving some of that burden and enabling women to dedicate their time um, to leisure or paid work or more empowering activities.